previously on Blue Healers. The cops in St. David's. They're the ones behind Hugo Allen's murder. If Donna is telling the truth, we don't know how far this spreads. I can tell you categorically, there is no corruption. Now, you want to tell us about Louis Chang and his restaurant? Don't even like Chinese food. We're talking about what goes on upstairs. The gambling. This is a warrant to search the premises. What's upstairs? Reception room. Brilliant. Hey. Lucy Wu. I just spoke to the regional personnel officer in St David's and I asked her to pull Lucy Wu's file. You what? Hey, the point is, there is no Lucy Wu. Hugo came to believe that Louis was ripping him off. Hugo wanted to get even, so he took some photos on his mobile phone. You really want to spend your whole life running away and not knowing if someone's coming after us? Us? Whichever way you go, I'm coming with you. What have we got? Uh, well, that's the service department that Theo was renting and looks like he fell from the balcony. Time of death? Uh, best guesstimate an hour ago. No possibility of suicide, I suppose. I doubt it. Drugs? There's nothing on him, but uh, the staff and guests are being questioned to see if anybody heard anything. And we got his mobile. I'll take that. Get our guys to pull it apart. And let St David's get all the kudos. They think so. Who was the last person to see him? All we've got so far is a known associate who might be able to tell us something. She wouldn't go anywhere near this guy. It's her story. I think someone better tell me what's going on. Well, she had breakfast with Jonesy, then he went off to work and she left soon after. More than an hour ago? Oh, yeah. What's all this about? Oh, nothing. We just need to talk to her. How long did you say she's been staying with you? Is it any of your business? It could be. It was about a week. No accounting for taste. And uh, she hasn't been back? Well, I don't see everything. I could have missed her. Well, let's take a look, eh? We'll follow you, Constable. So where is she, Constable? Out turning a few tricks? I think we're past a joking face, don't you? Who's joking? For the last three mornings, there's been a plate, a glass, a knife and fork left on their kitchen sink. I didn't leave them there, and this morning a roast chicken was missing. Chris, unless the chicken in question's worth over two grand, that's really a uniform matter. Well, don't complain to me if there's no chicken sandwiches for lunch today. Look, Kalurgis is dead and Donna's missing. So if she went to see him... I thought you said she wouldn't. I'm just saying if. But she's terrified of him, isn't she? Unless that was all a big act as well. Don't you get it? She's not here. So whoever got Kalurgis could have got done. I mean, they could have kidnapped her. Yeah, well, for a girl of her undoubted experience, she does kidnap pretty easily. Jonesy maintains that Donna Maitland's clothes are all still there and the suitcase. So I'm hoping she's just gone out for a while. Is she in Theo's phone? No, there is a Donna M. Ring it. Or I can give you a number. Just ring it, Kel. You're not seriously treating Donna as a suspect in this? Interesting coincidence that she goes missing the same time Theo Kalurgis is found dead. That doesn't make her a suspect, it makes her a victim. Right now, all we're doing is assembling some facts. He threatened her. People respond to threats, sometimes violently. Well, the chances of her throwing him off that balcony are zero. Switched off or out of range? Theo Kalurgis was a hit man. And a drug dealer. That makes the suspect list the size of the white pages. Which is why we're not going to dismiss Donna Maitland. Donna has one prior for using, and that is it. She doesn't do that anymore. That's what they all say. You'd better go through his apartment again. Well, Kelly and I have already done that. This time you won't be involved. Ready when you are. Senior Sergeant Croydon, Senior Constable Lucy Wu, Multicultural Liaison Officer, St David's. Uh -huh. I've been leaving messages about displaying brochures. Yes, I got the messages. Uh, give your guff to one of the sergeants, the one who looks like he might like to be a social worker. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Just this way, Senior Constable. We'll see if we can find room for them somewhere.
None of the staff or guests seem to have heard anything, but there's three unaccounted for. And find them. Talk to them. God, every time I search men's luggage, it makes me glad I'm not married. Well, the sisterhood, are we, detective? I wish. Up. Oh, got to deal with something. Coke. Coke. So, is it for personal use, or is this a sample from the shipment our informant told us about? And if it is, where's the rest of it? Maybe someone wanted to know where... Tried to persuade him, got out of hand, he went over the balcony. Yeah, but there's no sign of a struggle. We got very tidy killers, or he was sampling the merchandise and thought he could fly. Something you two missed this morning? Cocaine. One deal only. You don't see a lot of this in Mount Thomas. So where was it? Overnight bag in his wardrobe. Be interested to ask your girlfriend what she knows about uh, Theo's drug habits, if she ever surfaces again. Look, can you just get off her case? You're quick to forget how much she's been helping us. A correction, Charles. She's made a lot of noise, all of which has come to nothing. Collurgis is linked to both her and to Hugo Allen. He's tried to abduct her and probably killed Allen. It's all supposition, Jonesy. If that's cocaine, I think we need to talk to Louis Chang again. Why? Because an illegal casino is a great place to launder drug money. You're jumping to an awful lot of unrelated conclusions. And you're assuming there actually is an illegal gaming room at Chang's. I mean, we raided the place and there was nothing. Because Falcon Price tipped him off. Well, you're on dangerous ground there. Look, the inspector is covering up and we need to find out why. What we need is substantial proof before we go any further down that path, Jones. Donna is a good source of information and she has no reason to lie. Wake up to yourself. She's on the game and she's probably still a user. To people like that, lying is like breathing. One of the housekeeping staff heard a woman's voice coming from Theo's apartment at around 9am. What sort of woman? Uh, young, agitated, seemed to be asking for something. Collegius was saying no a lot. Well, there you go. It's a woman, so it's got to be Donna. Did she recognise this voice? Just the woman's voice, mate? Let me go look for it. You stay where you are. Someone's got to find her. You keep well away from her, Jones. That's an order. Look out. Mrs Noah. You deal with that. Uh, I want to file two missing person reports. OK. Names? Penelope and Terence. Right, they would have surnames, wouldn't they? Constable, you're dealing with a missing persons report. Yes, sir. Penelope the pig and Terence the Jack Russell Terrier. They're animals. Yep, and they're missing. And I want to file a report. Right, well, isn't that a job for the uh, council ranger? Yeah, it might be, but he's not answering his phone. Right, well, uh, Mrs... Uh... Rosie. Rosie Stevens. Stevens. Uh, yeah. I run the animal shelter down on Widgery Road. Oh, right. And who are you? I'm uh, Sergeant Mark Jacobs, oh, Mrs right. Stevens. Look, perhaps we should clarify things. Pigs and dogs are not actually missing persons. They come under two categories, uh, missing livestock and missing domestic animal. Knew I'd get this. All yours, Constable. So, so how long have Penelope and Terence been missing? Oh, they went off together sometime last night. Together? Yeah. Well, they're in love. Inseparable. Right. Well, you find one, you find the other. Well, maybe I should have a look around, I suppose. Well, community policing. Show the flag. Right. Paperwork up to date, is it? Of course. Good. Tell Ben you go. Hey, Jonesy. No, I'm looking for some missing animals. Mate, okay? the boss is angry enough. Hey, she you... is not involved. She's a prostitute. She's probably mixed up with every low life in Melbourne, and you're the only one who won't see it. You finished? Said what you want to say? Got her off your chest? Just leave me to get on with what I need to. Yeah. <clears throat> Any warrants you need served? No. What, do you want to disappear for a while, do you? Uh, there's just a few things I need to pick up, that's all. Right, these things wouldn't have anything to do with Constable Jones's sudden urge to be out and about serving the pig and dog population of Mount Thomas, would it? I'm just looking out for him, Sarge. Right, make sure the boss doesn't see you. Something I can help with, Sarge? Yep, you can get the lunches. 
and get the right ones this time, eh? There's no chicken sandwiches and don't say I didn't warn them. I told Amy this morning the chicken was stolen. Oh. And about the washing up. She didn't tell you, did she? You don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, no, not really. Somebody is hiding in the pub and they're sneaking into the kitchen after everything else is locked up and they're just helping themselves. Why? Well, finding out why is your job, isn't it? Well, look, Chris, no disrespect or anything, but we've got a few things on, all right? So a missing chook isn't... Ah, oh, so stealing isn't a crime well, anymore, huh? All right, look, I'll have a word when I get back, all right? Yeah, sure you will. Louis? Louis is out today, Constable. Mr. Chang is in. Doing the books. How may I help you? I'm looking for Donna Maitland. Donna Maitland. Donna Maitland. Slender girl. Prostitute. She wanted to work here, but uh, immoral girls are bad for business. Certainly not here now, is she? She did work for you. Never happened, mate. Theo Kalurgis is dead, and Donna Maitland is missing. Kalurgis. Kalurgis. Can't say another name. What about Hugo Allen? You know that name, don't you? Yeah, he was a customer. Good one. We should return. He was going to blow the whistle on your little outfit upstairs. You come to my place of business. You say that this Kalurgis is dead. You say a woman is missing and also this Hugo Allen. And then you insult me by implying that I'm involved in all this. Now you leave. Mr. Chang, you don't order police around. But you're not here as police. You're by yourself and you don't work in St. David's. That tells me that you're here on your own account. Nothing to say? So unless you want me to telephone your people and tell them all this, you will leave now. If anything's happened to Donna, I'll be back. Off duty, come in any time. We'll have a drink. But in the meantime, I've got work to do. Besides, hmm? it's PJ out. Mesh room. Find the pig and the dog? Huh? Ah. This isn't my case, so you're telling me all this why? Because Amy won't listen. Look, I swear... Chang's involved in Hugo Allen's disappearance, and if he is, he has to be involved in Kalurgis' death as well. Bloody hell, Jonesy. You haven't thought this through, have you? Paige, these are dangerous people Donna's mixed up with. I'm just trying to protect her. Protect her? By telling him that she's out there on her own somewhere. Mate, if you're right about him, you just put her in danger. Jonesy, Susan's on the phone for her. Where'd you find her? Uh, I figured she'd be in her car, so trawled the car parts. Is she okay? <laughs> she certainly thinks she is. Hi, baby. I've been waiting for you. Can I have a kiss? Yeah, hey. Sorry, I know you weren't expecting this. <laughs> <laughs> What's your problem? Don't let that uptight bitch get to you, honey. I just had the tiniest little taste. Hello. I missed you. Can I have a kiss? We've got to arrest her for possession and use right now. Well, where's the evidence? What? There's no drugs in that room. It's all up her nose. Listen to me, Suze. She has information pertinent to an ongoing investigation. Now, if we can just hold back on charging her, maybe I can get some info out of her. No, we don't have discretion in this. Not yet, Suze, please. Look, Kalurgis had coke in his bag. So? So where do you think she got it? How many people dealing coke in Mount Thomas? Speed dope and he's but cocaine? She wouldn't have gone to Kalurgis. He's dead. She's got coke. Join the dots. Amy has to be told. Just let me talk to her first. Susan, I want to be the first to know. Hi, Korea. Nice while it lasted. You got the cocaine from Theo, right? Just come to bed, babe. We can talk about it later. He's the only logical source. 
Am I right? Hmm. Plenty of places. There are not plenty of places in Mount Thomas. We found cocaine in his room. And you didn't. You got some from him, but you miss a rest. Were you there when he died? <laughs> don't! Evan, you're freaking me out! Just answer the question. Yeah, but I don't know what you're talking about. You were in the room before he went over the balcony. The cleaner heard your voice. Evan, we've got something really good going and you're spoiling it. Please don't be like this. You're scaring me. What's going on there? Just start telling the truth. I am. I am telling the truth. Somebody's downstairs. An intruder. It's exactly like last night. I just think it's time that somebody else took this seriously because there were dishes left on the draining board. I don't get it. How hard can it be? They're not mine. A plate, a glass, a knife and fork sitting there washed up and left to dry. Uh, come and have a look for yourself. That's in the cellar. OK, just stay here. You bastard. G'day, Chrissy. Don't you Chrissy me. That's for friends. Who's this? Terry Kennedy, my ex-husband. Do me a favour, will you? Take him away, lock him up and throw away the key. Seeing as how we're up, Chrissy, how about a feed? This one makes the best steak and kidney in the country. Mm -hmm. Sit down, Terry. Now, I don't want to seem hard to get along with, son, but who are you to be telling me what to do in my wife's pub? Ex-wife. I'm Constable Joss Peroni of the Mount Thomas Police, and I'm asking you very nicely to take a seat, all right? Honest mistake, mate. You've been out of uniform, and Chrissy here being half undressed, I hope I haven't interrupted anything. Sit down, anything. or I'll sit you I down. I don't want to listen to a word he's got to say. Just get him out of here. Jeez, you've got hard. The last time I saw him, he tried to slime his way back into my good books. Genuine attempt at reconciliation. Without telling me that he was on the run from gambling debts, plus the fact that he'd married another woman without getting a divorce from me first. Now, see, that's all in the past, Chrissy. Not to me. So how long have you been stealing from this kitchen for? What? Oh, don't play dumb. You've been stealing food from here for two days and doing the dishes. <laughs> doing the dishes? Well, there you go. Oh. Does that sound like me? If he won't leave town, I want him charged. Now, back up. I'm just passing through. I had a little win on the Gigi's. And I thought I'd look old Chrissy up and set things straight with her. What do I owe you? The best years of my life. Well, I reckon the best years of your life are right now. Have a look at you. Your bloody vision. Isn't she? I don't want to see you or your money anywhere around here. Now get out. What about a bottle of fizz, for old time's sake? Hmm. I'll take that as down payment and that get out. Terry Kennedy is a scumbag. Yeah, he came through with some sherry mates. He uh, married the pub and his daughter. Yes, and left her. Long time ago. Get his mugshot off Leap, pass it round to the others. Then go over to the Imperial, tell Chris I want him out of town. And if anybody sees him, tell him you hope he enjoyed his stay. You know, it would save us time in the morning if we just move some things into my place. Oh, uh, Ben. Am I rushing you? Yes. Yeah, we've got a pig and a dog in company knocking over bins at the front of a shop out near the Widgery turn off. Well, where's the ranger? That's the $64,000 question. Stuart, you're good with animals. Go and shoot them. Boss? It'll give you something to do apart from groping your colleagues. Take our rule for you. Am I still in trouble? I'm just wondering what other surprises you got in store for me. First I find out you're on the game, now this. So what's next? I was stressed out. I haven't touched the stuff for weeks. 
And then that inspector just dissed my story and I was just depressed. I just needed something. And you went to Theo because he knew he had some? I wouldn't go near Theo. Well, who then? I'm not going to tell you, you just arrest them. It's what I do for a living, Donna. Well, they're not in Mount Thomas, so you don't have to worry. Listen, I'm not a copper just in Mount Thomas. I'm a copper anywhere. And possession of cocaine is a crime. Okay. Selling it is an even bigger okay. crime. And okay, just having okay. you in my room possessing and using an illegal substance here in my room puts me in a hell of a position. You realise that? I never thought you'd be so straight about it. Yeah, well, I am. So who sold it to you? I'm not giving up a friend. It'll just mess things up with us. I don't want that. And I know you don't either. Just drink your coffee. Morning, Sam. Morning. Chris. If you're here for the lunches, you're way too early, mate. No, no, it's about your ex-husband. The boss doesn't want him in town. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, you can tell him personally if you like. What is here? Now he's having showers in the upstairs bathroom. Vivian cleaned the bathroom, came back ten minutes later and found this. Look at it. Another resident? Oh, they've all checked out or gone about their business. Someone is hiding in my pub and I know who that someone is. Don't make me come in and get you, all right? Okay, okay, I'm coming. Love you, Terry. Long in the arm, short in the pocket, a roll of banknotes at a choke, a horse, and you won't even pay a few bucks to stay in my pub. G'day, Chris. Dan. <laughs> so, sorry, excuse me. Chris. Chris, do you still want me to arrest him? No. I'll do that and you're dead. <laughs> oh, it was beautiful as ever. So there I was, just about to cuff him, right? All of a sudden, Chris grabs him, starts kissing him. She was all over him like a rash. What was I going to do? Oh, I think he goes way back. Well, the boss would know. What you should have done was arrest him. Yeah, but Chris didn't want me to arrest Chris him. Chris Riley doesn't dictate terms. Daniel Woodley is wanted in Queensland for questioning re-armed robbery. Now, get over there and pick him up. Yeah, I'm not psychic or anything. You know. I'm not a policeman either. <laughs> what are they doing here? Why are they taking to the pound? The pound's shut. Peroni, you want to give us a hand? Yeah, if I could have offloaded, don't you think I would? Get it into the field. Yeah, I'm trying to. Come on, you've got your order. Yeah, yeah I did. Actually, yeah. Hey, Dave. I don't handle pigs, mate. <laughs> Culturally inappropriate. You're not Jewish or Muslim, pitch in. Uh, it's a police thing. You wouldn't Any understand. Any mess will be cleaned yeah, up by the probationary council. Oh, so not fair. That is why the commissioner in her wisdom issued you with overalls. Hey, can't hurt her, Sarge. I don't think she's savvy. She's just scared. Constable, she's ham on legs. Put her down and lock the door. Walk away, all right? Mm. You just missed him. He was here half an hour ago. And now he's gone. You were kissing and hugging him like there's no tomorrow and now he's gone. I'm allowed to greet an old friend anyway, I like. Dan Woodley's wanted in Queensland for questioning re armed holder. I don't believe that for a minute. Well, the boss has got an info sheet from Queensland saying so. OK, he might be wanted for questioning, but he didn't do it. <laughs> and you know that how? I know Dan. He's tender, he's sensitive, he's the man I should have married. Well, I'm sure he is, but he still needs to answer some questions, Chris. There is not one chance in a million that he was involved in Chris, an armed holdup. Chris, up. where is he? Gone. He had things to do in Melbourne. And he only called in here on the off chance. He has been living in your roof for the last three days. That's not just calling in, is it? Sorry. Can't help you. Chrissy, there's something that I don't want to use my own car for. Could I borrow yours? Anything to do with Dan Woodley? Who? That's the right answer.
Did you look in her bed? No grounds, and we didn't have a warrant. Oh, hell, warrant. Look, boss, I come with me, charge. Sergeant. Start on an arrest warrant. Come please. on, can someone please shut that pig up? Susie, you're not a pig whisperer, are you? Uh, sorry, Sarge. No, I'll fix it. I've already told Joss, Dan's left. If you're harbouring him, that makes you an accessory after the fact. Come on, Tom, you're going right over the top with this. Do you think so? Tell her. Dan Woodley's car was used in an armed robbery at a horse sale. The offender fired at least two rounds from a handgun. There is no way known Dan would do that. Once the warrant arrives, if I find him here, I'll arrest you as well. Why wait? Arrest me now. I have it your way, handcuffer. Don't you dare! Do it! No need for that. G'day, Tom. Been a long time. Mr. Woodley. You can accompany us down to the station. Disappointed. You've been following me? What are you looking for? More coke? Ah, look, I know how this must seem, but Evan... Just tell me what you're looking for. I was trying to help you. Where'd you get the key from? Thea? Oh. Evan? You were the one person who believed me. You stole the key from his room yesterday, didn't you? No. You thought his stash would be here. Evan, please. You've gone so far out of your way to help me, but you're letting all this get to you. I had the phone all along. I just wasn't sure who I could trust. You can tell it to senior Detective Fox. Are you serious? What are you doing? Just get in the car. Evan? What get in the car! Are get in the car! Serious? Interview room. Phone's in the name of Hugo Allen. I told you. Look, I don't know anymore when you're telling the truth and when you're not. Get in. The cops are all the same. Susie, I'm going to need your help with this. Yeah, you need to see these. Louis Changs. Well, it could be anywhere. Yeah, but if it is Chang's casino and these photos were going to be used for blackmail, it could tell us everything about Hugo Allen's disappearance. OK, print it out, blow it up as far as you can. I need a written, detailed description of everybody who's in that room. Right. Anything else? Yeah, and uh, check Theo's phone again. I want to know who he's in contact with. You say that Hugo Allen gave you the phone for safekeeping before he disappeared. The one that you say Theo Kaluja stole from Constable Jones's room. How many times do you want me to say yes? So Hugo Allen was taking photos of Louis Chang's place? Yes. Right. Yes. Can you tell me how you got the key to the post box? It's mine. After Theo went through Evan's room, I needed somewhere to keep the phone safe. So I put it in a bag and I posted it to myself. <laughs> Donna. Now, you have been a very naughty girl, but so far, you're not in too much trouble. You know, I, I want to be your friend, but friendship's based on truth. I am telling the truth. I was getting the phone for Evan because he's just been so fantastic about everything. Yeah, we don't need to hear about your sex life. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the coke I used. What? Coke. Oh, I was off my face, and Evan was going to run me in, but he didn't because he knew that I just didn't. Mean do you it. know anything about right, this? She was. So she had nothing to do with it. Okay, let's just get down to the facts, shall we? Theo Kalurgis stole that phone from Jonesy's room, didn't he? Posted it to himself. And when you went to his service department yesterday for whatever reason... I didn't. ...something happened I, I did. to make Theo fall from the balcony to his death. No! You panicked, picked up the post office box key because that's where you thought he might have his main stash. I was never there! The only thing that puzzles me, Donna, is why didn't you open the box yesterday? What stopped you from doing it? None of this happened! Don't worry. 
Someone's going to have seen you go to Theo's place. And we are going to find that person. And when we do, the fact that you lied is going to make the charge I was murder. Never if you there, have got anything to tell us, anything true, now would be the time. You said you'd look after me and I trusted you. Just uh, take some time to consider your position. Jonesy, you and I need to have a chat. Let me get this straight. You knew she was using an illegal substance and you chose to overlook it? There was nothing to be gained by bringing you around. Nothing I to just... be gained has nothing to do with it. It is a legal requirement which you ignored. I know, I know. Look, these pictures on the phone, are they of chance? Yet to be confirmed. So she was right. That's what she's been saying all along. It's just a step forward. Proof of a casino, not where it is, not who owns it. You think I'm trying to exonerate her, but this is not about my personal relationship. I'm glad to hear it. I'm just trying to get to the facts. Let's face up to this one. She is a liar. I know that she will lie to get herself out of trouble. Yeah, and pushing a guy over a balcony, even if he is drug-dealing scum and she's doing the world a favour, that is big trouble. But no witnesses to place her there. Only a matter of time. Jonesy... Don't waste energy feeling guilty about this. She made her own life choices. No one forced her. Yes? Who is that, please? Kelly, is that you? From the Bureau of It's fine, yeah. So Theo had Hugo Allen's number in his phone. Hmm. Now one's dead and one's presumed dead. Then Donna's likely to be next in the firing line. If Donna doesn't get witness protection right now, she could be dead. Well, she could save her life and us a lot of trouble by simply telling the truth. Yeah, but the penalty for telling lies shouldn't be death. Are you still in a sexual relationship with this woman? Not anymore. Good. But I have a right to be concerned. She could get hit any time. If and when that happens, we'll investigate. I could start the ball rolling on witness protection. Do it. I could find her somewhere safe to stay in the meantime. No pubs, no motels. A few phone calls, they could find out where she is. I've got an idea. Keep it to yourself. Fewer people know, the better. So long as she doesn't do a runner. You keep contact. I want her on tap. You satisfied with your treatment by the police here today? Homicide may want to talk to you about the death of Theo Kalurgis, so just keep yourself available. I told you I had nothing do to do... Do you understand the term, keep yourself available? Is she allowed to talk to me like that? Yeah, I can. And if I think you're going to disappear, I'll take you into custody right now. You said you'd look after me. And I will. I'll make sure she's available for interview. You better. Just sign in. I could see if he's available for you. He's not taking any of my calls. I want to see Dan, Tom. He's being held pending extradition to Queensland. We don't have facilities for visitors. You're holding an innocent man. His car was at the scene of the crime. His gun is missing. When the Queensland police tried to question him, he ran. Then he hid, even from you. So? Do these sound like the actions of an innocent man? Oh, look, you want to play it this way? Fine. The facts are, it's all down to Terry. What's Terry got to do with it? He was working for Dan when the hold-up happened. Then he disappeared with Dan's car and Dan's gun. And funnily enough, he turns up here with a wad of notes that big. So why hasn't Woodley said any of this in his own defence? He did in Queensland, but no-one believed him. And here, no-one's asked him. We used to shear together, and I hadn't seen Terry for years, and a month back he just turns up on the doorstep. Looking for a handout, no doubt. Looking for work and a place to live, he said. Run up a few gambling debts and there was uh, some blokes looking for him. What a surprise. Anyway, old time's sake, give him some work. Next thing I know, he's knocked off my car and one of my handguns. How many have you got? I'm a licensed pistol shooter. And there's the hold-up at the, uh, the local horse sale. And the local D's want to talk with me. Well, your car was used in the robbery. And I told them all about Terry. I didn't believe he even existed. He was hiding from these heavies. Hadn't been to town the month he was with me. No one had seen him. No one knew he was staying with me. 
Not that I knew he did here. Why were you so sure? Because every night after three or four runs, he'd start rabbiting on about Chris. How he's going to come back to Mount Thomas and make things right with her. So you headed for Mount Thomas, hid in the pub and waited for him to show. I wanted to make myself known to Chris. The place is always crawling with cops. Never seen so many cops in a pub in my whole life. Help you, Detective Sergeant? Just need a word with Senior Detective Fox. Detective Sergeant. I hear you found a mobile phone belonging to Hugo Allen. Well, you're well informed. Well, I like to keep abreast of what's going on. Well, he was taking photos of a casino, probably Chang's, but we haven't been able to pin that down yet. Why not? Well, Chang's not in any of the photos. Here's a recent photo of Hugo Allen. Photocopy and distribute, just in case someone's run across him. What's being done to safeguard Donna Maitland? Constable Jones has her somewhere pending witness protection. Somewhere? Where? Well, he's the only one who knows. Oh, that's very wise. If Constable Jones can be trusted not to cock up. It's not great. At least you can disappear for a while. It's fine. Better than I deserve. Evan. I mess up everything I do. Every relationship I ever have. I know you hate me. No, I don't. You should. Donna, you do stupid things. But you're not a bad person. Who says? Me. I've met bad people. So have you. You're not one of them. I'll be back later. I'll bring some Chinese. Thai. <laughs> Thai, please. Just don't go anywhere and lock the door. Get your hands where I can see him. Tom, it's me, Terry Kennedy. Get your hands where I can see him. Now, very slowly, get out of the vehicle. What's going on? You're a suspect in an armed robbery. I have reason to believe you're carrying a firearm. Me, I hate the bloody things. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, we'll do it your way. Constable, take a walk. Boss, do as you're told. Where's he going? Maybe I just don't want any witnesses. Witnesses to what? To you resisting arrest and me having to stop you. Oh, I'm not resisting. Where's the gun, Terry? I told you, I don't have a gun. You're a bad penny. Someone needs to stop you from turning up again. Jesus. What's happened to you? The gun, Terry. All right, all right. There's a sports bag in the under seat compartment. What's happened? Tom Croydon and I knew was the nicest bloke in the world. Well, now I'm a dead set mongrel. Boss, I have here a sports bag containing one firearm, uh, some assorted drugs, what looks like to be $50,000 in cash, and a catalogue to a horse sale. Now, I know this doesn't look good. But a mate of mine told me to look after that bag. He said not to look inside it. Now, I wish now that I had had a look. I suppose you'd swear to that on your mother's grave. Of course I would. This has all just been a terrible misunderstanding and I should let you begin on your way. You mean that? No. Now, you really are a mongrel. 
So you'll be releasing Dan now? There's an outstanding warrant for Woodley. He'll be going to Queensland with Terry. Oh, Tom, you could talk to the Queensland police. He absconded from a police investigation. He trespassed, he stole, and he was hunting down Kennedy to do God knows what to him. Yeah, well, Terry's got a lot coming to him, hasn't he? Woodley is not a nice man, Chris. You'd be better off without him. Well, you're not a nice man either, are you? You've, you've just turned into this hard, bitter old cop. Oh, Chris. <laughs> Rosie, hi. How are the animals? Uh, fine, I think. How are yours? Still wearing trousers. I'm here about my animals. O'Rourke, deal with this, will you please? Oh, thank you for your message. No problems. Uh, Terrence has adopted Sergeant Stewart. <laughs> oh, my darling boy. What? Well, where is she? I, I locked her when I put her in here. <laughs> that pig. You know, she's smarter than my two ex-husbands put together. Sarge, the pig's gone and someone must have let her out. It's the only explanation. Ah, uh, well, it's our responsibility. We'll find her. This time of night, she's usually heading home. She goes along the old creek bed behind school. Hmm. I've already ruined one uniform today. Yeah, um, Jonesy and I'll handle this if you like. Handle what? We'll talk in the car, eh? So, uh, this hotel room, whatever, where you've got Donna, she's safe and sound? The fewer people know, the better, eh? I mean, I wasn't expecting you to... I just... I just wanted to know that, you know, things were... It's over between us. If you wanted to know. Well, how the hell does she know a pig comes up here anyway? Does she track it or something? Oh, who knows? Up there. Oh my god. Hugo Allen. I'm calling Amy. Sirs. I'm gonna need you to take care of this one on your own. I'm gonna make sure that Donna's okay. Jonesy, I. Oh, you! Yeah. And then he goes, Yeah? Well, now I'm a dead set mongrel. It was like Dirty Harry oh, or something. Please. Seriously, and then I looked inside Finished the bag. Report, Just to say, I uh, looked inside the bag, right? Just, it was like hey, 50 pounds. Hey, 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 hey. Next time, a little less colour and a little more paperwork. All right, it's early days, waiting for the autopsy, but it is Hugo Allen died from a gunshot wound to the back of the head. Execution. I'm sorry to be informed, they're on their way. Well, Jones needs to be told about it right away. Yeah, I can get him on his portable. No, 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 we don't want to tell everyone who's got scanners. The media will be down on this in minutes. I'll uh, get him on his mobile. Previously on Blue Healers. The cops in St. David's. They're the ones behind Hugo Allen's murder. If Donner is telling the truth, we don't know how far this spreads. I can tell you categorically, there is no corruption. Now, you want to tell us about Louis Chang and his restaurant? Don't even like Chinese food. We're talking about what goes on upstairs. The gambling. This is a warrant to search the premises. What's upstairs? Reception room. Brilliant. Hey. Lucy Wu. I just spoke to the regional personnel officer in St. David's and I asked her to pull Lucy Wu's file. You what? Hey, the point is, there is no Lucy Wu. Hugo came to believe that Louis was ripping him off. Hugo wanted to get even, so he took some photos on his mobile phone. You really want to spend your whole life running away and not knowing if someone's coming after us? Us? Whichever way you go, I'm coming with you. What have we got? Ah, uh, well, that's the service department that Theo was renting and looks like he fell from the balcony. Time of death? Ah, uh, best guesstimate, an hour ago. No possibility of suicide, I suppose. I doubt it. 
drugs? There's nothing on him, but uh, the staff and guests are being questioned to see if anybody heard anything. And we got his mobile. I'll take that. Get our guys to pull it apart. And let St David's get all the kudos. I don't think so. Who was the last person to see him? All we've got so far is a known associate who might be able to tell us something. She wouldn't go anywhere near this guy. It's her story. I think someone better tell me what's going on. Well, she had breakfast with Jonesy, then he went off to work, and she left soon after. More than an hour ago? Oh, yeah. What's all this about? Oh, nothing. We just need to talk to her. How long did you say she's been staying with you? Is it any of your business? It could be. It was about a week. No accounting for taste. And uh, she hasn't been back? Well, I don't see everything. I could have missed her. Well, let's take a look, eh? We'll follow you, Constable. So where is she, Constable? Out turning a few tricks? I think we're past the joking face, don't you? Who's joking? For the last three mornings, there's been a plate, a glass, a knife and fork left on the kitchen sink. I didn't leave them there, and this morning a roast chicken was missing. Chris, unless the chicken in question's worth over two grand, that's really a uniform matter. Well, don't complain to me if there's no chicken sandwiches for lunch today. Look, Kalurgis is dead and Donna's missing. So if she went to see him... I thought you said she wouldn't. I'm just saying if. But she's terrified of him, isn't she? Unless that was all a big act as well. Don't you get it? She's not here. So whoever got Kalurgis could have got done. I mean, they could have kidnapped her. Yeah, well, for a girl of her undoubted experience, she does kidnap pretty easily. Jonesy maintains that Donna Maitland's clothes are all still there and the suitcase. So I'm hoping she's just gone out for a while. Is she in Theo's phone? No, there is a Donna M. Ring it. Or I can give you a number. Just ring it, Kel. You're not seriously treating Donna as a suspect in this? Interesting coincidence that she goes missing the same time Theo Kalurgis is found dead. That doesn't make her a suspect, it makes her a victim. Right now, all we're doing is assembling some facts. He threatened her. People respond to threats, sometimes violently. Well, the chances of her throwing him off that balcony are zero. Switched off or out of range? Theo Kalurgis was a hit man. And a drug dealer. That makes the suspect list the size of the white pages. Which is why we're not going to dismiss Donna Maitland. Donna has one prior for using, and that is it. 